it is time. We are finally off to New York. <laughs> to basically give them a tour of the city and see the Rockefeller tree. We want to see them like the biggest Christmas lights they've ever seen. Where are we going now? New York. This video is going to be one of my first attempts at vlogging a family vacation, so uh, yeah, <laughs> bear with me. We're going to take the entire Apple ecosystem with us just to see what it can do, phones, watches, tablets. And I'm also going to take the OnePlus Open with me just to see how well it performs, but uh, yeah. Now the first challenge of this holiday is a seven hour flight, but thankfully the tech came in clutch here. Now plenty of movies to watch. My daughter also used the Apple Pencil for some drawings on the iPad, although I was asleep while she did that apparently. And we actually all use the active noise cancellation on the Bose and the Apple headphones to help us to sleep. All of them do a damn good job at silencing the airplane noises. It just made our flight so much more peaceful. So the first thing we did after we landed was to order an Uber. Now this makes great use of the dynamic island feature to show you how far away it is but I have to check the app constantly. The next day. Hey Siri, what's the temperature today? The high temperature today will be nine degrees Celsius and the low will be zero degrees Celsius. Good morning. We are in New York City and we're staying at the Westin uh, in Times Square. So we're right next to her where everything's going to go. But uh, this is very different because we're family now. So we can't really walk everywhere. So we're going to get a lot of Ubers today. So we're attaching Apple tags to the kids' coats so we don't lose them, basically. Another great use of the uh, Apple ecosystem. Breakfast time is like half eight in the morning. Starbucks. 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 We're off to Starbucks. <laughs> Now, something I've set up on our phones is the Apple Shared Library. And you can set this up so that when me and my wife are near to each other, any photos we both take will be sent to this shared library that we can both access on our phones. It just saves me a whole load of time every time I get asked to send her photos. It is a really, really nice Apple ecosystem feature. Just be sure to switch it off to avoid accidentally sharing photos of random stuff. For me, that's mostly going to be work photos like laptops, tablets, and phones, and all sorts of things. Erica's also currently rocking this really classic Apple Macintosh case from Spigen love the looks of this thing although it does make the phone feel a little bit bulky but off to our first adventure of the day where are we going new york, new york city no so we've done we've done that bit already we are now going to troll camp Trump. behind us which is this trolls experience with lots of fun stuff in there okay so hopefully you'll have a really good time but we're going to spend an hour in there okay <laughs> This experience was wild. Like literally in the back of this shop was a whole adventure park and it didn't take long for the kids to warm up and they were off. And it was finished off by a little disco performance, which at least one of my kids enjoyed. Did you enjoy that, Harper? Yeah. Yeah, what did you like the most about it? The soft play bit, not the singing at the end. Everything. Everything. You loved everything about it. That was awesome. That was the Trolls camp experience in New York. So check it out. We're off to find some food now, hopefully. Apple Maps to the rescue again here as we hunted down some food. I love that I can just start navigating from my phone and then my Apple Watch Ultra just kind of takes over and taps on my wrist when it's time to make a turn. It means you'd have to hold the phone out constantly. You can just kind of put the phone in your pocket and just listen and kind of pay attention to your watch. Now, of course, the first thing my eight-year-old wanted to do was go and buy some Prime and some Feastable chocolate from Mr. Beast. So uh, we did that. Then a stop at the Disney store, of course, to let Harper get something too. Back to the hotel now. And we enjoyed our evening meal whilst playing a game of Harry Potter Uno, quickly becoming the kids' favorite card game that we bring with us on our holidays. Also, New Yorkers are so friendly. Like, it's not like this in London. Every time we've gotten in a lift, or I guess a, a elevator uh, with somebody, they've said like, good morning and have a nice day. Honestly, really wasn't expecting that. 
the next morning. I've quickly realized that I don't have enough space on my iPhone to record everything. So I try and quickly dump footage off my phone onto my laptop, but it takes forever. Stupidly, the included Apple charging cable doesn't support fast data transfer speeds. I'm actually tempted to run to Best Buy to pick one up, but then I do have like 20 of them at home already. I also watched the edit for a video which we're about to post on the channel, which personally I've been really excited to make. I'm pretty sure it's not going to perform that well, but really, really excited all the same. And whilst I'm doing this, I also managed to really annoy my kid as the AirPod Max headphones he was using kept automatically switching to my Mac, even though I kept disconnecting them. Trust me, it was really, really annoying for both me and him. Today's a busy one, another Uber, another Starbucks. This is a blubber one. But now, the most expensive horse ride I have ever experienced in my life. <laughs> this one cost me 180 bucks for a 30 minute ride around Central Park. But we did get to see all the places, the bridge from Elf, the Friends Water Fountain, the Home Alone Bridge. We also stopped to snap some family photos on the rocks. And I got a chance to use another great Apple feature where you can use the Apple Watch as a viewfinder and a remote control for the camera on the iPhone. So I can be sure everyone in the family is in shots, tap my watch and capture moments without this like mad dash from the camera to the rest of my family before the photo gets snapped. So yeah, Fina, good morning so far. Next up was the National History Museum where we actually booked the butterfly experience. My daughter absolutely loved this and I even made a friend that wouldn't get off me. Still there. <laughs> Got it on my head. See? Now, one thing that was really cool here is the app you can download, which is obviously like a map of the whole place, but it did something I've not personally seen before, which helped you navigate indoors, including knowing which floor you're on. Then as you followed the navigation and like climb the stairs, it would automatically switch the floors. The moment you walked onto the new floor, it was really, really good. Like such, such a good use of technology to help you find your way around. Next up, we had a trip to the top of the rock lined up, which I was so excited for. I saw they had this new area where you could sit on a beam and get raised up even higher to see New York City. But just before we talk about that, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Keeper, who make it possible for me to well, continue making these videos. Now, Keeper also makes it possible for me to switch devices and be able to log into all of my favorite apps and websites and even store things like my proof of ID and like finance data. Now, that means when I use my Windows PC at home, my Mac laptop for work, my Pixel tablet, my Android or my iPhone, depending on what day of the week it is, I can still easily get to all of that critical information that allows me to use unique passwords for everything I use. So there's an even newer technology that's starting to make waves where you'll never need to remember a password again. Now it's called Passkeys and it uses your password manager to store this passkey. So when you log in, it talks to your password manager, which then provides the key and then logs you in. Now it is far more secure since you now have no password that can be guessed or that you can be like tricked into giving away. But it does mean even more than ever, you want to be storing those passkeys on something that works across any device instead of storing it on your phone or in your browser, which only works in that one place. Now, I honestly don't know where I'd be today without a cross-platform password manager that remembers everything for me. Like my memory is pretty awful. So sign up using the link down below for up to 50% off a Keeper personal or family subscription. And again, huge thank you to Keeper for keeping me in a job. <laughs> Thanks so much. But right now the visibility is a zero. Yeah. There's a zero visibility. Yes, right now. So instead we had the fun experience of queuing for half an hour before the kids were totally bored. And so we kind of had to move on. And honestly, it was kind of at this moment, I think we broke the kids a little like jet lag, tiredness, lots of walking. Yeah. See because it was too dark. Too dark. Well, no, not too dark. It was too cloudy. It was too cloudy, wasn't it? So we've cancelled the top of the rock because it's too cloudy. And now we're going to go and get lunch. Dinner. Well, nothing a visit to Shake Shack good? won't fix. Good? Thumbs up. Happy? Happy? Are you good? No. <laughs> but then Christmas tree. because here we finally get to the moment that one magical moment the moment this whole trip has been building up to and it absolutely chucked it down how big is it Huge. honestly this trip has been one of the hardest family vacations we've ever had. Like traveling with kids is really, really tough. I had a stinking cold for most of the trip. We were all tired and jet lagged since we were only here for a few days, but the kids enjoyed it, I think, and it will give them an experience they will never forget. And the Apple ecosystem made our entire holiday a much better experience. Oh, and if you haven't guessed already, this entire video was shot on an iPhone.